guys, it's Mattels. And it's Christmas break! So I am at my home. Oh, look at this. I set this all up today after I got my third COVID shot. I did all this. I did all this. <laughs> I've also got some little some little comic book stuff there, which is cool. But I got all my dolls. Well, not all. I got, I decided to do whoever was just lying in my room, like all of Rainbow High Series 3. Um, every doll unboxing doll that you already saw, they were just kind of here, so they went on the shelf. And then I tried to be Christmassy oh, and holiday-ish. So I've got like some winter Barbie up there. I've got all my holiday Barbies. I got uh, Gabriella. She's in the middle, cause like, you know. Oh, and my favorites. Some of my favorites are spewed. We got, we got Christy up there, you know, everybody. Yeah, squad. Oh, and I also hung some old posters. Some very old posters. I wish you could see the top part though. I got my Skelector dolls on the top. You can see it on TikTok. And I got Rhett's poster and Goliope's up there in the back all the way hidden, but it's fine. Oh, and I got some, like I said, I got, got my Wicked dolls. Oh, my favorites. Um, it's definitely gonna change <laughs> every now and then. And I wanna decorate it for Christmas. But I do got my Christmas nails. They were very expensive. But anyways, hi. Today's video is a little different. Um, I got a lot of dolls. <laughs> uh, this is literally just a doll haul, but I will be unboxing everything eventually Mo mostly everything mostly everything mm. um most of my barbie dolls are in box which you know i don't ever talk about i'm all over the place today i'm very excited to be home so i was like oh. but anyways okay let's start at the beginning fun fact another fun fact uh i collect disney dolls like i have every single one <laughs> um not the big ones i have one big one actually i could show you this is my big one of Rapunzel and she lights up and stuff. She's very big. But then all the rest I have are the classic dolls, right? I think they're called. Um, I have them all. Except a few villains that come in those huge packs. But besides that, I literally own them all. But I never talk about them and I never post them because people don't really like them. So, um, so this is Wendy. <laughs> um, I feel like this is from like a year ago. I, I don't know, uh, but I got her. Oh, look at how pretty she is. Oh, she's gorge. Look at the little heart. Ah, new new ring light too, because I had to leave my other one at my other home, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, her shields, anyways. Sorry, I'm excited. I'm all over the place. I'm very happy to be making YouTube videos again. Traveling was scary. <laughs> I was scared, <laughs> but it's fine. Here she is. Um, yeah, so it's just Wendy from Peter Pan. She's, uh, you know, I love her, but I'm not that excited. Um, I am excited though for, oh, I dropped her. I'm sorry. <gasps> Sisu, the classic one from last November. <laughs> Here she is. But she comes with um, all the articulation, which is so cool. And, like look at all the painted details and stuff. Now I did already unbox, but I never filmed it. Um, Raya. So now I've got Raya and Sisu. And then I also, oh wait, can I get these to balance? Oh, another one. <laughs> Doll number nine million that I have. Hold on. Oh, everything fell. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm sorry. So profesh, right? As mommy told us. I got this dragon on sale because all the Disney stores are going out of business. Thank you. Thank you, world, for making out the Disney stores. What is this? So here she is. She does stuff. Um, I don't remember how, <laughs> but she does stuff. Is she, oh wait, I think it's like by when you move her, but I think I turned her off. Cause every time I'd move her, she would like light up and sing and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I will do a super duper Raya unboxing video soon. Uh, but yes, I'm very excited. I liked Raya a lot. It was really good. Sorry, <laughs> I'm excited. So I'm all over the place, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay. Next, um, oh, I was on Amazon and they had a LOL OMG doll sale. So I got 
Miss Glam. She was on sale for 20 bucks. That's it. 20 bucks. So I will be unboxing her eventually, someday, one day. Uh, look at how cool this is though. I love it. The bow's a little squishy, but that's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. So then, <laughs> oh gosh. Um. So then I came back. I go to Walmart. Now it's, I already know like there's gonna be no sales at Walmart. I already kind of missed them all. They had one left. It doesn't even fit. Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for all of Rainbow High series one. I'm gonna be customizing, especially Jade and Ruby, because they deserve better. Period. Oh, and Violet. Oh, but hers is gonna be rough. Hers is gonna be rough. But Jade's gonna be goth. Period. And Ruby deserves some red lipstick and some better makeup. So. Uh, some customization shall be happening. Ooh. I only ever customized like two dolls. The first one was absolutely terrible and the second one is moderate at best. But I'm an artist in art college so I gotta learn. So then <laughs> I saw on Instagram that the winter break dolls are now on sale at select retailers. So I went to the store and I got Poppy Winter Break. So now I have um these three which they're my favorite so you know. Um I got her for 20 bucks. I got her for like mm, full price. I paid full price for Sunny because she's my favorite. Um 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Instead of the like 40, which is crazy but i made a mistake and i looked at what box was nicer instead of what face was nicer i don't know why maybe because like i haven't bought a doll in person in a long time so i just like zoned out and like who cares about the box i opened the boxes i cut them to crap so her makeup is a little like her blush is all like wiped off so oops that was that was uh, on me. That was my mistake. Um, so then, <laughs> so then at the Mart, <laughs> at the Walmart, I went in the clearance aisle. Because I was like, well, you know, I might as well look. I'm not going to get anything, but you know. Well, they got Brooklyn. Barbie. Barbie Roberts from Brooklyn. Um, for five bucks. I wanted her the most from the movie. I loved the movie loved loved the movie watch the movie period so i got her <laughs> she's so pretty look at that look at that face look at the freckles oh, for five bucks half price half price for no reason for no reason um i wish uh they had malibu barbie roberts as well for five dollars because in my opinion, she should be $10 and the other one should be $5 because like, I don't care about the other one. <laughs> I only care about her. So, I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong, but I do have to wait for her to go on sale. Oh, and for these two specific dolls also to go on sale. They're like 17, so they're not expensive, but like, I'm not paying that. Not for Barbie, not for modern day Barbie, sorry. Oh, I also had to leave two dolls at my other house, so that was really sad. I couldn't fit them in my luggage on the plane. So I did get, and I'll put a picture, um, oh, Hayden Williams, Yasmin collector doll. Um, and I went to like this really cool comic book store and they had, okay, let me get it right. Winter Renaissance Barbie. And I just bought her. Um. So then today, I went to Target. Um, they do have like moderate Black Friday sales, but nothing good. Like me and this woman had a like conversation in the aisle for like 40 minutes about how stupid, stupid the prices are right now for dolls. And this is one of the dolls that I do not agree with. 
um, this price is ridiculous. This price is stupid. Nobody can afford it. Sorry, there's like, it's not happening. I can't afford them. I have to wait for a sale or a gift card or something. I got lucky <laughs> today. I got lucky. Um, but yeah, no, they really need to work on this. I got Carmen. Carmen, I don't know what her last name is. Carmen Major from the Rainbow High Rock Band, whatever. So the only way that I was able to purchase this doll, because she is $50 for a single doll, uh, hmm, which like, not gonna lie, Santa Claus might have a hard time getting kids these rock dolls for $50 and the slumber party dolls. That's, it's just how it is. So um, Santa might have a hard time guys, but she's completely destroyed. If you can see, her like inside of the box is totally gone. The top looks like this. Now ready for the back? I'm pretty sure somebody stepped on it. Actually, almost all of the dolls, the Rainbow High dolls specifically at Target, were broken, ruined, or destroyed. So I don't know if like an employee got mad and just like destroyed them all and quit, or if something happened at MGA and someone destroyed them all and quit. Um, or maybe they just got squished in transit, or... None of them looked good. I posted it on my TikTok, actually. I don't know if you could see specifically, but all of the Rainbow High dolls in my Target were completely destroyed. But it works for me because then I get a discount. Like, even, like, look at the top. Like, <laughs> what? Um, so, and I made sure that she had everything. I made sure that she looked okay and that she had her, you know, guitar and stuff. Um, but I'll just make sure that I get one of these ladies on on sale in a good box so that I could keep the, the back artwork. Um, but yeah, so I was able to get this $50 doll. Um, I got 15% off and I had a gift card, so I only paid 20 bucks. Not bad, not bad, you know. Um, still kind of sucks. <laughs> um, so these, these next few are very special. These are very special. I bought these dolls before I left for college and it is now November. I bought them in August, but I was gone at my other house. So these guys got to this house. So, sorry, these are very special. We got Beetlejuice and Beetlejuice. <laughs> very special. My mom and mine. So, oh gosh, they are. This one's a little dusty, dusty. So, I did not look at them yet. Um, side by side. Here's this one. If you could see that. Because I have to see what one I'm going to open. What one I'm not going to open. Oh my gosh, that's not cute. Ooh. Here's this one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We'll have to determine who gets opened and who stays in the box for all of eternity. Oh, that's so toughy. Toughy, toughy. I forget how I did it for my other Scholector dolls. I don't remember if I opened the pretty ones or I left the pretty ones in the box. I do not remember, but we'll have to see. I've got to figure it out. See who I'll open. Um, and then while I was in college, <laughs> I ordered Greta and Greta. <laughs> so excited. I love Monster High. Monster High is my number one. And I'm going to be honest, when Monster High comes back, I'm probably going to stop collecting all other dolls unless I start making money on the internet. <laughs> because I am poor. So, I, if, if I did not look at them unboxed next to each other, they're both very, they sent me the prettiest two, I swear. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her. Look at little baby gizmo. Oh. And I like, yeah. And I like that. Uh, uh, they're both oh, stunning. They outdid themselves, I swear. I swear. And again, I don't remember how I did the other collector, so... 
gonna have to see. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to remember how I open them. Um, okay. I think I did it. I did. So that is my ultimate mega super duper first freshman year of college first quarter doll haul? Question mark? As well as, um, so I guess I'll count all of these guys as uh, first quarter college dolls, as well as her. Oh, all the brats, all of Rainbow High Series 3. And that LOL, by the way, doll, <laughs> which I also want to, I almost have all of them. I need one more. Yeah. So there you go. My college first quarter doll haul. Ooh. So we've got lots of videos coming up. So I hope you don't get sick of me, but comment down below. Who should I open first? Who should I open next? Who should I open last? Who do you care about? Who do you not care about? Should Barbie get her own video? <laughs> or should I wait till I have all the others? Uh, or should I, and two with Wendy. Do I just put her in like a Disney unboxing video? I don't know. Let me know. Cause like, do y'all even care? Like I feel like, you know, I love them. I love them so much, but like, do you? <laughs> do y'all? So yes, please let me know who I should open first. I kind of, I'm kind of feeling the Rainbow High Dolls. Not gonna lie. Cause the Gremlin video and the Beetlejuice video will be very emotional because I love them so much. And I'm also gonna film myself redoing the Rainbow High Dolls that I got. So let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.